Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another part of Let's Play, the good old An Empire Divided, where we have been taking the fight to the Germanics pretty heavily, and when the fuck did... Oh, God damn it, Varchek, we'll deal with you later. Um, see, Empire, this is your problem. If you would, you know, pull your thumb out of your ass and actually do your goddamn fucking job, this wouldn't be a problem. But then again, I'm also expecting, you know, the AI to do something, so maybe, just maybe I should, uh, you know curtail my uh my opinion let's be honest ain't gonna fucking happen is it also the fact that people are escaping from my prison i'm just gonna chuck them in here uh go to the dungeon donate prisoners i may as well at least get some uh stuff for it more praetorians want to serve uh, as long as they don't stab me in the back eh <laughs> uh charm we've got good natured or tribute I'm gonna go good nature. Good nature is definitely a little bit more better for us. Right, I wanna I want to take a more. That would be my goal right now, so let's uh have we, is there like another big army I can borrow? There is. Cool. We'll take you. We're gonna begin the siege of a more. Now I know that we can take the siege. It's more just how many men are we gonna lose doing so, and are we going to get attacked? By another enemy and oh fuck's sake please tell me okay no they were able to defend it good it's still worth breaking off the siege to go check on that because you know if we lose stuff we would just you know we're playing the back and forth game and the back and forth game isn't fun at least i don't find it fun we also don't build very quickly which is a shame which means sieges unfortunately last a lot longer than they need to but as long as we defend our own property, I'm really not bothered. The re only reason we're trying to grow is so that we have a more of a border to, you know, keep our own stuff safe. Unfortunately, because our own ally, uh, our lord is an absolute tit, we are uh, we're currently playing the hardest game of them all, and that's called keeping troops alive, or keeping um, keeping cities that don't like us. Not troops alive. Well, keeping troops alive is also a bit of pain, but no, our biggest game is trying to keep our troops doing anything meaningful purely because if we uh, our uh, our enemies have one thing like you know they not enemy sorry our cities don't aren't loyal enough to us because we have a bunch of bad things about like that we've implemented that are you know essentially keeping them from being on our side for the most part i want to attack that army but i'm too deep into the siege to uh pull off if i pulled off i'd have wasted a lot of time We'll take that out there. So it's 559. What's the actual little thing look like? Power level looks in our uh, looks into uh, looks in our favor. So uh, we'll you know promote some troops. I do love the look of them. They have like the really cool scutum as well. They don't have much armor, but fucking hell, they look they look good. And these two aren't any good either, though, unfortunately. They have a 70 pound composite bow. What does our, our Sagittari have? Yeah, same. 70 pound composite bow. I think the only ones that are different are the mercenary ones, which are these bad boys. They have a, a refined Assyrian, so 90, 100, 100, 310. Yeah, which is a lot better, by the way. I did not realize how much better they were. Holy shit. Uh, Dreadful or Wallbreaker? I think wall break is actually better because I don't give a shit about the governor thing. I like breaking walls as well. So let's get into the siege anyway. We've got a lot of stuff to do. And I've got four more, sorry, three more parts after this to record as I'm trying to get all these recordings done in a single session for a change. Your sergeants! Because I've been very busy lately and, uh, oh, for some reason, Discord doesn't, sorry, Discord, um, the mod, no, sorry. OBS doesn't like me at the moment. It, I mean, it's still record. It's still going to be recording fine. I know that, but it just, yeah, it's not happy. Also, what does this say? Oh, it just it's got a cool picture of a guy with a penis out. His penis out. Cool. Didn't realize that, but okay. All right, let's get our uh, beautiful heavy peeler out. Um. Oh. Wait. Hey, why the fuck are our men not going this way? Um. 
Hey guys, where are we attacking? I'm so confused. Because I can't go up alone because I will get myself ripped to pieces. Like, I know my own luck. I really need to put some points in throwing. Because I do, like, no damage as well. Oh, that's why they didn't want to go this way. Because it's really fucking hard to climb these walls. Alright, let's just get our sword out. Also, actually, I didn't... I, I forgot to mention this. Someone said in the, a couple of parts ago that I was fighting... I was stabbing guys with a butter knife. Just in case uh, the person who commented that doesn't actually know what weapon I'm using, I'm using a Gladius. It's not a butter knife. It's a very, 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 very good sword. And I'm not just saying that historically. You know, it legitimately is a very good weapon. Like, it revolutionized warfare for the Romans. And the worst thing is saying revolutionized isn't even an overstatement. It legitimately did. I'm not going to lie. These fuckers have actually probably got a beautiful defense here. Because, you know, they've got us at the bottom of the... They've essentially done what we did to the bridge to them. Yeah, we may not come out of this with as many losses as we want to. Yeah, they've killed 40... Uh... <coughs> sorry about that. They've killed 20 of my men, sorry. Oh, fuck. Oh, my throat's catching. Jesus Christ, I've not even recorded two videos and my throat's giving me problems. Great. Oh my god, they're actually pushing his back a little bit. Wow, I, uh... I need to maybe restart my computer, because for some reason this game feels like it's running way worse than it should. 59 losses so far. The biggest place of losses is actually the flank I went to as well. And this was not a siege that went well. There we go. 69 losses, though. More than acceptable. None of those are, unfortunately, troops I can take. Uh, did we lose any, like, uh, any officers? That's the most important stuff. If we don't lose any officers, I'm happy. Um, yeah, my pie's just going to have to be upset. I don't want this settlement, no. Because the, yeah, I'm gonna say it's going down by four at 38. And we know for a fact this is gonna be, you know, rebelling against us at some point. Um, yeah, that one's way better because, you know, infantry is our bread and butter. So giving us a way to get more infantry XP is always good. Right. And the question is do they want peace? No. There is no peace on the table right now. Uh, there's two people we're paying peace for right now. That's interesting. Well, if there's no peace on the table, which is actually a good thing, we need to go find that enemy army actually as well. Well, that didn't take long. Um, I'm going to recruit you to the army. Uh, I'm going to pull back just enough that you don't do something stupid. Good, you didn't do a stupid. It's been a while. Oh. Oh. That was a battle I unfortunately didn't have to do because he uh, was very unfortunately in a very shit position there as he uh, threw himself. As I, For some reason, you know, the enemy wouldn't come out of the thing. I'm also going to get... I'm going to start turning all my mercenaries into uh, mercenary Sagittari because I just... Like, they have a bow skill of 80. That's pretty shit compared to a bow skill here of... Oh, 80. Wait, no, that's great. That, that means... Yeah, that means the mercenaries are just better in every way. Okay, so we have 690 versus 528. Do it. Now, if I'm, hopefully they're not already attacking, so I can, yes, I can deploy my troops properly. So let's try this method of having two sets of infantry. Now, this one is going to lower troops. Obviously, I want this one to have higher troops, and I want this one to focus more on pole arms, and this one to focus ones, shields, actually, no, heavy armors. Group five. Group 5 go there. Sagittari to the flank. Group 1. Secondary. And normally I could split my cavalry into two, but honestly, there's no point. 
So, my heaviest and my, like, big boy should be in here, whereas this should be my... Aux basically, it should be auxilia and loads of other troops. They are defending, that's fine. Infantry! I'm gonna move up to a position where I'm ready Horse to do man! something. Now, they, they do outnumber us when it comes to troops, and that's fine. They're allowed to outnumber us, because I really couldn't give a shit. Footman, everyone! Ready yourselves! And we will turn our men to face the enemy for now, as uh, is necessary. Horse, soldier, infantry! Cavalry, footmen! I'm gonna turn them to group four Move. for now. Move! Bowmen! Forward! Infantry! Forward! Footmen! Cavalry! Yeah, cavalry can just go play over Forward. there. Yeah, so we're going to move our two different infantry groups up as we infantry. do. Now we're going to try and get our Sagittari on the um, hillside. Move! Archers! Move! In fact, move! Beautiful. Cavalry! Yeah, cavalry do what you do best. Hold fire! Hold fire, though. Yeah, you really don't want to be shooting. And the real issue is they do have... Spe you know what? Enemy, take out the enemy cavalry as quick as possible. And now, even if it just dis it's, even if it's just taking them off the horses, that's a win for us. Soldiers, infantry. All right, yeah, don't throw. You guys can do what you want. I really don't care about you. You're not my main line, so you're not as important. And once we take out that cavalry flank, we can then freely worry, like not worry about our cavalry. And again, as I said in comment, oh my god, no, nope, don't throw fucking, stop throwing weapons, stop throwing weapons, you're throwing them our own troops, you bellends. Right, so as I was saying, and as I am, uh, I am, and by the way, I apologize that it feels like if I'm, uh, you know, constantly talking to you specifically, Winding Road, and not everyone else, this is for everyone else, I just like to explain my tactics to the one person who's actually, you know, been like very asked like very insistent about them and you know had a lot of questions or have, like kind of kind of been telling me what i've been doing wrong in certain regards and in some ways i actually understand in others i disagree uh but yeah my cavalry is breaking that flank for two reasons number one in ancient warfare that is actually what cavalry's role was but specifically that's what the roman cavalry was there for their role was to defeat enemy uh, thing. Also, oh, stop shooting. You are nowhere near close enough to shoot. I, that's one thing I agree with. Is my use of archers is bad in the fact that I let my men shoot when they shouldn't be. Okay, our cavalry has turned that enemy flank into a metric ton of nobodies. So we're going to pull our cavalry over here now. I'll pull our cavalry out of that. Wheel to enemy! Don't need to be over there anymore. Yeah, they've got four cavalry. And of course, as you've seen, our, our, we've got two lines here. So we've got our good line and our shit line. I say shit. What I actually mean is uh, under under trained. Now, fortunately, their cavalry is actually in a very annoying position. I'm gonna pull my I'm gonna pull my archers to this flank. Forward. Just as they fuck you to the enemy. Because uh, they've got free cavalry over here, which, yeah, we're going to deal with as and when. Soldier! Soldier! Infantry! Forward! Move! Put yourself Forward. directly there, lads. Foot cav archers! Move! Yeah, Sagittari archers. should be free to go Forward. right there. Group infantry! Forward! Move! Soldier! Forward! Forward! You're allowed to start shooting, Stop and you're allowed to start throwing. Again, this line is going to get absolutely wrecked. Go. Right. There we go. Yeah, they have a lot of Sagittarius, so my Sagittarius are probably fucked just just by just in the sense that they're uh, not really able to do much. Let's right, turn our men to shoulder to shoulder, no matter what. Now, all right, we should be fine now. Oh fuck you, Sagittarius! You just moved that guy. Now I don't think I have many, uh, if any, spare points or not any spare points, any light levels, like any XP 
nothing to be gained in uh, throwing weapons right now, so... Realistically, I'm just hoping. And once the enemy uh, cavalry has been, um, for lack of a better word, dealt with, we'll um, be able to send them against their Sagittarian. Okay, let's get my sword out. The Gladius is just much more effective at chopping these idiots down. We'll get them down to about six or seven cavalry, and then I'll consider that cavalry no longer a threat. And we'll start sending our cavalry into a useful place, better known as after enemy Sagittari. Enemy Sagittari now, lads. Thank you. But actually, boy, we should always reorganize my cavalry before we do any orders. And the reason we do that is because uh, if we don't, they won't actually charge effectively. They'll, uh, well, they just won't be, they'll, it's the same as like in Total War. They'll just kind of, you know, bundle themselves straight into the enemy without actually preparing properly. Yeah, I mean, any Sagittarius, you should be putting quite a lot of enemies down right now. And right now we've lost 23. Again, total losses doesn't matter to me. Dead is what matters. And now having two separate lines, I think has actually helped quite a bit. Because honestly, I think our two separate lines have done, um, I think like allowing our uh, weak line to like take all, all of, well, less experienced men to take all of the like the shields, take all the, the damage, has allowed our heavy infantry to like elongate the flank and kind of help us start wrapping around them. Here we go, my cavalry can now freely attack the enemy, uh, enemy uh, Sagittari. Start putting these idiots down. Our uh, Sagittari needs to get into a better position, so let's move them up to there now. But don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm probably placing them a little too close, but honestly, I think it'll be fine. Okay, you want to you do spear fights? Fine, let's do it. Ow! I walked into that one. Unfortunately, that was literally I walked into that one, not a uh, joke. I actually quite literally walked into it. As you can see, we are breaking their flank so quickly. 25 dead. Admittedly, we've only killed 183, but as we're the winning side, we can count their, lo their wounded in their losses as well. As we're the winning, we only count our dead. Because wounded troops will come back. Dead. Well, we're not a fucking necromancer, so they, uh, they're not coming back, unfortunately. Come on. There we go. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I might join the abdication faction when we're next at peace. And before, if anybody's thinking that's a random thing to say, yeah, it is quite random, but it's just something that was on my mind. I was like, yeah, I kind of want to join that faction right now. All right, how many ca I mean, we still have nine. Yeah, we, we did not take any real losses in terms of like cavalry in that department. 34 losses overall, 31 losses, sorry, overall. To over 500. That is a beautiful victory for us. And there is nothing the enemy can do to take it away from us. Beautiful. Oh, we still need to send... Okay, where we go? Well, we didn't lose anyone else, so... Beautiful. Uh, any of you... No. Unfortunately, none of them are uh, fitting my what I need. We have 317 troops, and how many... Uh, what tier are we? What clan tier again? Uh, I'm pretty sure we're clan tier 4. But yeah, we are We are so many troops away. Uh, I don't give a shit who gets more. Uh, factions. Okay, so if I joined, we would still not be close enough. Kingdom would still be um, too too strong. The two secession ones we'll worry about later. Um, we do have noble revenue, so once we get to tier five, we'll. Uh, so ne next tier, we're going to be having a massive increase of troops because of that. Um, let's go get of castle, and I think we'll try and take over here, so we have everything over here, ASAP. Oh, they want to uh, get peace. Well. Okay, if they want peace, they want peace. I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna, you know, try and deny them that. So let's just kick everyone out of this army who isn't us. 
And let's start recruiting some troops. Uh, buy product is not what I meant to click on, but I appreciate your offer there, game. Uh, do we need any more troops? Oh, sorry, no. Yeah, we don't need any more of those. That's cool. Uh, there we go, some auxilia. Like I said, I would like I, I'd like to try the auxilia out. And before anyone asks, why am I just assuming that we're going to get peace? I, I know my luck. Like, my luck is not great when it comes to forcing a war to continue. And even then, I'm actually okay with peace right now. Peace right now is... I hate to say it, but probably in our best interest. Another Decurio. Wait, 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 wait. Your best is infantry. Okay, cool. I was right, so I was making sure. I do. I would like some new. Uh, what's it called? Uh, some new mercs. Let's go to uh, Epicratia. We're also going to go home as well and check our two cities, our, our city and our castle out. And we are still losing two grand a, a, a day. That's really not a problem. We'll take you. Take those twelve mercs as well. Thank you. I'm gonna turn all of those into archers, more than likely, because you know the archers are just. I don't know. They're just really cool. Uh, we do need different types of food, so let's get. We don't need. Well, we'll get rid of like half the grain as well. Beer, food, buy all of you, and we'll start executing those idiots. Okay, that's fine. We don't. You don't need to give me all my money. It's good. The good thing is we didn't actually lose anywhere near as many men either as well. So that's just. This war was generally just a very good war for us. Okay, so let's uh, let's go check our castle. See how that's doing. I mean, I don't expect the castle to be doing very good either way. Uh, yeah, still got loads to do. Uh, we'll put 15, we'll put 25 grand in there for now. Loyal enough. Um, after you've built that, uh, yeah, that should always be the basic thing to put. Yeah, just get that built for now. And let's just hire some new troops. Uh, we do need to set up a new army. That is probably something we should do as well. Is get a, get the third and final army set up. Oh, yeah, we can. I'm gonna say third and final army for now set up. Don't want you because you're a uh, yeah. I don't know what it is. I just don't like normal auxilia. I just I find them a bit naff. I think it might just be uh resentment from uh you know when I first played this mod, but unfortunately the resentment has carried through and they're just gonna have to suck it up. Um. All right, Kanishan, you're in. Well, no. Let's go to the Smith and Guild and let's get this guy donned out and decked up in the good shit. Oh, yeah, so... Um... Oh, that was the bitch that we got to try and look after the thing. Well... They, uh, you are... Okay, so... The smith is wearing... The one that is very similar to ours. I, I don't know which one that is. But yeah, he's wearing the smith. Okay. Didn't mean to talk... Did not want to take a walk around town, but I appreciate the offer. This is the guild. Bro is the fact a faction thing. Okay. I actually don't know what it's called. So let's just sell all of his shite first. Very skinny guy. Yeah, this guy's gonna be, uh... Need to give him that. This one. I think that's it. Decorate... Yeah, I think it's the Decorate Iron. Cool. Sell all that, just to make sure. Uh, we're going to equip him his normal equipment first. I actually have no clue what cloak he wears, so let's just give him the rest of his armor for now. Which I actually don't know either. So let's just do the rest of his stuff. So he's a... He's a Kanishan, so we need to give him a Kanishan shield, I guess. I don't know if we... Actually, we don't have a Kanishan shield, do we? That's a bit weird. Let's just give him an auxiliary one. A rusty... Wait, wait, let's just... Okay that for now. Oh, yeah, he's, he, oh, he's in he's an infantry, so he gets a normal shield. Okay, fair enough. Um, 
And yeah, he has got the right arm. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, and then he gets a green cloak. Oh, they all get green cloaks. That's fine then. Okay, that's made this a lot easier. I, I don't remember what boot it was, but I'm pretty sure it's, it doesn't fucking matter. Yep, they're fine. Um, I don't know where the cloaks are. Are they further down or are they further up? I think... Well, no, no, we'll have the Empire Field Cloak, thank you. You know, got to be very specific here. Where the fuck are the Iron Ones? Also, the Empire Cloak isn't as good. Emperor Cloak isn't as good. Uh, it does look a lot nicer, though. But I can also see my boots. That's probably a problem, in my opinion. Yeah, can I just have a... Can I have a red one, bad boys? I'll just buy a new red one. I really don't care. Right. Back to uh, Tit's face. Tit's face over here, who still needs his arm armor. Where? Are the, what, there's the fucking... There's brass. What the hell's the iron? How much further up is it? Fuck it is, yeah. Uh, just scale. Right. So I can give you any shield I want. So let's give you... Let me give you that one. Large bag of peeler. You get two sets of them. And then you get a beautiful gladius. And there you go. This guy is now done. Congratulations. Immediately go to the uh go to the go to here. And just spit this spit out. Uh do we have any mercenaries here as well? Mercenary Sagittari, exactly what I was actually looking for as well. Uh, let's also put you up. Now, we are going to need to follow our companion around to make sure he re recruits the good stuff. Um, there's no trade that I need to do, as far as I know. I, I can't. I've already done trade. Uh, how is the town going? Uh, still working on that workshop. I'm going to put another... Put up to 50, just over 50 grand again. Once you've done that, I want you to get that on, onto that as well, to get that, keep that loyalty up. Go. And I, I don't know how many men he's allowed to have. He's allowed to have 85, so about 40 men, and then we'll uh, put him in our army, and we'll uh, do that. We'll help him that way. Okay, he's actually just chilling there. Fair enough. Uh, we've got five people want to come in. That's, uh, that's good. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to start trying to get some more Sagittari again. Marshals. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I just have no interest in wasting my influence at the moment because I need every ounce of influence when I'm actually ready to start uh, helping a war. Like, you know, declare war. Well, not, not even declare war, but do anything. Who's up to... 27. He'll get there. He just got 14 new recruits. In you come. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, I've got another three recruits there. I'm very close to having recruited everything I can recruit, which is going to be very lovely, to be fair. Uh, there is some money left over here now, so let's... Uh sell a few more things. Uh, we probably should go on a little trip to sell stuff. Uh, put that there. Right. Um, yeah, we'll go uh, We'll go with, like, to all of our stuff and we'll, you know, just wander around. We do need to go get Varcheg back, but honestly, I just don't want to waste my time. Like, me and Varcheg are not friends anymore. Like, I, I took Varcheg, and, well, honestly, it's just been rude to me ever since, you know? Oh, I've got a feeling that, yeah, even you need loads. Like, Durus, Durus needs a lot of troops as well. Yeah. Unfortunate, but it is, the fa it is a fact, isn't it? Now, we have one Decurio left, and I actually can't have him. 
Uh, so we're going to kick out... Kick out those two, because I'd rather have the Decurio. You, my friend, are now frugal. Congratulations. The Durish are now a day traveler, which means as an army, we should move a little bit quicker. Ah, fuck it. If you want to recruit uh, Germanics into you, go for it. Let me guess. Oh, does that say... Well, well, loyalties are 19 and staying. I mean, that city might actually be able to uh, stay loyal. Heavily doubt it, but uh, it looks like there's a chance. And actually, unfortunately, guys, we're actually going to have to end this part here. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy, please do follow me on YouTube, leave a like, leave a comment, leave a share. But most importantly, guys, stay safe. Have a great day. Join the channel membership if you're interested, and I'll see you on the next one. See you guys then.